Now there are artists who paint on murals, who draw, who sketch, but there are also those who create edible works of art. And Chef Nick is one of them. Hey Nick. Hi. I heard that you are the uh, artist behind One Caramel. I'm basically in charge of the wedding cakes, the wedding cakes that you see on the counter. Um, we also do specialty cakes, 3D cakes, um, special birthday cakes, and we also create uh, also create special items for uh, special events, media, um, special orders, special requests. I, I handle most of that kind of stuff. Okay, okay, but like, do you you do actually the uh, sculpturing of the cake and the like? What you mentioned, you you like to tell a story of the cakes, right? Can you tell us a bit about that? Yes. Um, okay, for example, these cakes here. Um, I designed the I designed it to look as look like a laptop, a computer with a keyboard and a mouse, and also I added some details to look to make it overall look like uh, someone's desk. So. Whereas most people would probably just stop at the computer, uh, I like to go and add in more detail to make um, to make the thing uh, to give the to give the, the to give the cake a kind of a history, like a, to tell a story. I like to tell a story with the cakes. So by adding these kind of details, some people say, you know, why why go to all the trouble? And to me, that makes a difference between. Uh, a really nice looking cake and a cake that people look and go wow because people look at this and instead of just saying that's a nice cake they go wow that's that looks like my table you know and instantly you know they, they feel more connected to this to this uh, to the creation Okay. You know, that's, I like the way you talk about these cakes so passionately, you know? Like these are very pretty, girly cakes. Would you consider yourself to be more, I mean, uh, I mean, does, do these cakes bring out the girly side of you, the feminine side of you? <laughs> well, um, I, I, do like, I do like to do a lot of things that uh, maybe most men may find girly. But um, I like to do, I like to work a lot with my hands a lot. Um, I like intricate details. I, I, when I was younger, when I was much younger, I used to do, to like uh, cross stitching. <laughs> I, I I'd see my mom do it, and you know I uh, say you know let me try it, and I'd like to do that. I've done that in a while, though. so yeah, I like doing things with my hands. I like creating stuff. I like making stuff look nice, and I like to make stuff that people look and feel happy. Now I'm sure that you please a lot of girls by making all these very pretty cupcakes and, and cakes and intricate um, details and designs on these cakes. How would you impress your girlfriend, for example, uh, with one of your creations? Um, oh, you know, you know how um, for a lot of people, um, you know, they, you give you give real for most girls. They are like real flowers. You know, you don't you don't give them like a bouquet of plastic flowers. But I've given I've given girls before bouquets of flowers which I've made with sugar, and they just go, wow. You know? <laughs> so um, actually, uh, girls I feel they are more appreciative of, of things that um, people take the time to to make with their hands and make their own hands. It, it shows um, like it makes them feel important that you spend so much time on them. It's not, it's not all about just, you know, you spend the money, you buy the roses, you buy expensive roses. So it's, you, if, you, if you can show them that, you know, you spend a lot of time on them, it shows that you care a lot. Okay, so what's like the best reaction you've ever got from one of your girlfriends that you've made them something <laughs> so romantic, like an edible flower? Um, are they impressed? My, my baking skills are actually one of the things that I always use to impress girls. So. Okay, <laughs> so that doesn't my, surprise some me. Of my, some of my trade secrets. In the next video, Chef Nick shows us just how skillful he is.